Hey, Mark Nelson from MarkNelsonOnline.com. I just asked, was asked this question by a coaching client of mine. How, how do you increase your engagement in your network on social media? And since we're on a Facebook Live, that's what I'm going to talk about. So how to increase your engagement in network on social media, Facebook in particular. Well, you know, at, to tell you the truth, we all start at the same place, which is usually nothing. But I help people with this, with this out a lot. That was hard to get out of my mouth. If you've been on Facebook for a while and you've been putting out links and company photos and income statements and that, that's easy to fix. One, the thing is, is look at your profile. Would you want to follow you? Is your profile engaging enough for people to follow you? Do you have a nice profile picture? Do you have a nice cover photo? You know, profile pictures should be you, right? Smiling, preferably, or if you're a husband and wife team, you're a husband and wife team, but if it's just you, you have you on there. Your cover photo can be different things. Not company, not links. Uh, I put up family, I put up lifestyle, but I put up things that when people come to here, they go, hey man, I, I kind of would like to hang out with that dude. Now the next thing is, what are you, th there's two types, two ways of building your business. It's prospecting and marketing. And prospecting, if you're brand new, is what you should be doing more of. That's offline, online, actually talking to people. Marketing is putting out content, and that's what you're doing on your Facebook page. So if you've been doing this for a while, Right, and you have a bunch of links up. You have a lot of political views. You have a lot of religious views, and some people built their business not that way. And if that's what your target market is, that's cool. I just clean them up. I delete them, not forever and ever, but just delete them. Get a nice cover photo. Get enough nice profile photo, and then start putting out different content. Right, you want to engage people. You want to entertain. You want to teach value. Three things. So, how do you do that? Well, here's what I suggest. Do your Facebook posts, do 10 to 15 posts a week. And with that thinking of you want to entertain people, you want to show them lifestyle pictures, you want to educate, and you want to give value. Right? And, and slowly what you're going to do is you're going to start building up your network. Now, when I'm talking to people, I also ask them, you you have to be but what you want people to be to you. So if you want people to engage with you, are you engaging with them? Meaning, are you going to their profile and making comments and liking their pictures and sharing their pictures? Are you watching their Facebook Lives and are you commenting on their Facebook Lives, sharing and liking and doing the same thing? If you're not, guess what? That's what you're attracting. You're attracting people that don't share, make comments, and like. So if you want more engagement, then you go engage, right? And not always with the same people. And, and a lot of people make that mistake, and I make that mistake. Facebook changes their algorithm all the time, but it doesn't matter. Go find people who are your friends and start making comments and liking what they're putting on their walls. And if they don't respond, well, then maybe they're not the right people in your network. So I got some great news. Man, I just got two spots that open up my coaching program. Unbelievable. And I can help you out a bunch. I got great tips, great ways for you to grow your business. So those two spots, if you'd like to hear about them, drop a one in the comments below. And we'll get together and see if we connect. So you all take care. I will talk to you tomorrow.